But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people, welcome back to Civilization 6 to our Korea campaign Thank you so much for all the love in the first episode, that really helps out a lot And t talking about the love in the first episode, let's talk about some of you guys comments because uh, I forgot a few things to mention. Um, let's start with uh, a comment made by Chef who said, you know what, um, your face is blocking up the map and that's kind of, you know, bothersome. I know that. Um, the thing is, I've been trying out a few positions with the cam, with the face cam on Civilization 6 and it, Civilization 6 doesn't really have a, um, a obvious placement for the for face cam in a video. Uh, since you probably want to see the, the, the this stuff over here with the with the age timing and then everything over going on over here um, If you click something you get the information over here uh, The same thing goes for uh, up up here You want to see the other sis and then they're they're sort of the the things that they think about you You want to see the science and everything and then you have the map over here and in the middle It sort of blocks up the screen a, a lot and these pop-ups also sort of extend to the middle of the screen So it's a bit weird um, so for now I'm gonna keep the face cam over the map, sorry, uh, but if you, any of you guys have a better idea, because it might be, it might be me missing something, uh, and, you know, if you have a better idea for the placement of the face cam, then sure, let me know in the comment section. I will try it out, test it out, see if it actually works better, and, uh, if it works better, we, we're gonna keep it that way. So, that's the first thing. Second thing, Matthew Francis, uh, left a comment stating that, um, we need to keep in mind that the Siouans, so our our, um, our districts for science, they get a minus adjacency from being next to mountains. Now, I think I said uh, the stuff about districts, that they get minus adjacency uh, for being next to a district. Um, they do get a plus, plus adjacency bonus for uh, being next to government plaza, which is also a district, but that's the only one. Uh, and hills, of course, and uh, but yeah, the mountains. I forgot to tell you guys, um, and actually, you, you reminded myself of, of that uh, fact. So thank you so much, and let's just start playing the game again. I hope we will meet some other civs right now. We can pretty safely say that China is probably not in the game since we I am fond much of should have already met them. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. <laughs> it's still a bit of a weird one. Uh, okay, so we got animal husbandry. Let's go for... Okay, what do we actually really need? Um, Shipbuilding would be good, so we could actually start start to embark stuff. And start to scout about a little bit more. Although we have the big Asian lands over here in the landmass of Europe uh, next to it. Um... You know what, I'm thinking I'm gonna go for uh, archery first, so that we can actually get our defenses up against these barbarians if we want to. Uh, you guys are gonna definitely move back. Uh, I don't want to lose you guys. You are gonna move up to help him out if needs if that needs to be done. Um, you are healing, I think. Yeah, you should be healing. You're gonna move up here, and that's gonna be our new city location. By the way, if you have any good names for cities, then leave them in the comments. I will definitely uh, use them if I can. And uh, let's move on, next turn. We have found North America. Ooh, that's our galley, probably. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's our galley over here. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, let's go on. So what did happen? Production. What should we build? We could go for an early... Uh, well, not, it's not really an early library, but... We could go for a library. I like the idea of a library. You know what? We're gonna do a library. <laughs> I've convinced myself. No, the, the sort of the go first goal of this is to um, go and uh, go for a science victory. That's our first. Well, it's not a it's not a goal per se, but it's our first sort of realistic option playing as Korea because they're just scientifically they're really good. Uh, do we need to promote you for something else? That would be a good one, but not for now. I think I'm gonna. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna go for Magnus. And uh, we're gonna cancel you, we're not gonna assign you. We are gonna set you in our new city. Um, let's put you over here. Let's settle the city first. Uh, and then go to our governors and assign you to Seoul. Which might be renamed in the future. And we're gonna make a pasture right away. Okay, we have a, a scout over here, which is not the best thing. 
uh, probably an encampment over here somewhere. So that means that we have to get some defenses up here, uh, since we don't have walls either yet. So let's. Get, let, I'm not gonna build a seal one, but let's just check it out for fun. Uh, plus four all around the boards. So we're gonna have at least one good um, seal one, but I think it will be over here, uh, depending on what these tiles are. Uh, but having it next to a, a copper resource, which is definitely going to be turned into a mine at some point. Uh, mines get plus one science if they are placed next to a seal one. So that would be pretty darn good. So that might be um, that might be our seal one in the future. Uh, we could also go up here and maybe do this as a seal one because we also have a copper mine next to it. Uh, if we make it into a mine uh, and we have a lot of hills around it. So... Uh, we will see what makes the better thing in the future. For now, we do have a lot of housing, so we just can go for a monument. Now, we have also a lot of money, so we might go and buy a trader to connect these two up and get some internal trading going on. Um, I think that you are strong enough, you are fast enough to just run away. So what we're going to do, we can, we're going to bring this guy over back to Seoul to defend it. Um... We should pop the barbarian camp though at some point, but this guy needs to be healing first. So let's move on. May They're the forces of us. evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. So let's check it out. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we do have enough money to upgrade this guy, which means that we might still keep him over around here to just shoot this guy. Uh, you can move over and hopefully lose that guy. Probably not though. Uh, and yeah, we should definitely go for bronze working. See if we have any iron in the vicinity. That would be amazing if we have. Uh, otherwise, we'll have to go and look for it a little bit. You just auto scout. Okay, we found our barbarian encampment, so that's another uh, target for us to go. And we have our uh, our builder over here, who is going to improve the weed, get some extra growth in that city. And we're going to also also send our trade route over here uh, to Bone Zone. Which is definitely going to bring some extra growth in production too. Which is very good. Uh, that scout is going to be annoying. And we enter the classical era. Uh, current age, normal age. We haven't met any of the other civs. Um, so, the fact that it only says four civs. Does that mean that the other three are gone? Did they Have they been attacked by each other? That would be, uh, well, to be honest, a little bit disappointing. I, w I was wanting to play against at least six and hopefully seven. Because this map, the True to Start Location map, start with, starts with eight civs in total. Which we are one of them. So seven other civs. And if this is really the total amount of civs, that means we have only four civs left. And us, that's five. So, yeah. Not the best thing, but you know what? Let's go for it. Hey, did they change this? I think they changed the look of this, uh, of this, um, this thing. So, yeah, they definitely changed it. It is more intuitive right now. So let's go for inspirations, or no, let's go for science. Definitely the Eurekas and mostly the science buildings that we built will give us some uh, some arrow score, which is pretty good. Um, you're just gonna wait here. You're gonna run. Let's see if this guy follows. So we'll just wait one turn. And if he doesn't follow, we can take the archer over here to get rid of that scout. And everything will be fine. Let's build a farm over here. Our trading route is running. Hopefully they won't I'm also get it. interested yep, in creating a lasting legacy. Because bronze will last for thousands of years. Do we have any iron? Uh, not that I can see. Not in our lands. Uh, oh, wait, wait, we do have some iron in Japan. So we might want to go there. We do have some iron up here. So, where are the tribal huts? They are over there. Well, that's fine. Um, yeah. What should we do? Masonry might be a good one to help defend our cities a little bit better. I don't think we absolutely have to get that, though. Um, let's go for shipbuilding. Let, let's actually make us a little bit more mobile in the world. Let's make sure that we can get to places if we want to. Uh, we can't even shoot the guy for now, so that's uh, annoying. Let's get on, up on the hills and let's bring you down here and start regenerating your health. So our trader is done. That's a little bit disappointing. Do we have the money to buy a new one? We do, uh, but we're not going to do that yet because there's still this scout annoying ours. 
Uh, and we still have... We, we need to have this free so we can actually send the trader. Uh, so if that scout goes away, we could actually start doing that. We could also just build the, the trader. That would also be an option. Um, for now... You know what? Let's build an archer to get the extra defense for the for the capital. Get the other archer that's over here right now, shooting that guy, and then go over here. And we can actually, of course, get rid of these these encampments. And once this guy is healed, we can definitely do that. Um, and that's probably a done deal then. So the next one could be a, a trader. We could use the archer to defend. Um, let's see what happens here. Will he attack the archers or not? Yeah, he will. Well, that's a promotion for our archers. That I don't mind that. Uh, you should go for a granary. And you know what? Buy a trader. We will buy it again. Doesn't really matter. Um, you will definitely promote right now. Let's take that one. And let's move on. Governor Magnus is now... That's very cool. We have our governor in Seoul. Uh, our scout is running about over here. Let's just get away from that guy. We don't need our scout to fight. We do have we do have a force that can fight for us. So why Politics should our scout is the art do that? of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. And we got our government. So our first government is now unlocked. We're going to go for... Um... You know what? I just think that Oligarchy is the best pick out of the, these three at almost almost any time. Um, just because of the uh, the extra combat strength you get, the extra unit experience, but also because of it's it's a very stable card pack, if you will. That's mostly why I'm picking it most of the times. Um, Maybe if you go for so maybe if you go for faith or or really culture heavy, maybe it's better to pick uh, classical republic because of the extra economy card um, and the great persons. Well, I'm gonna go for oligarchy again. Sorry, yeah, it's just a better pick in my in my opinion, especially early on in the game when you don't really know which um, which way you're gonna go. Uh, and even if we we said we are gonna go for science, uh, we are gonna try for science. Um, doesn't mean that we are actually going for science. We have to sort of check check if we could actually do that. Um, settler reduction, gold from trade. Um, these are not the best. Uh, extra, yeah. Let's get the extra. Let's let's get a little bit of a discount on our forces for now. Um, so we can actually, you know what, let's do it this way around, so we can get rid of this one, because that's the first one, a card we're gonna get rid of, probably. Um, which means that, with a little discount on our army forces, we can now have a little bit more money and hopefully buy, like, things like a builder and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, next era, some things. If you want me to pause that and read them again, uh, I did that in my last series, uh, I don't think it, it is that important, but otherwise leave a comment. Uh, let's go for Drama and Party so we can get our feeder square. I think that is pretty nice to have. Uh, and oh yeah, we also need this stuff. So an audience chamber, an ancestral hall, or a warlord's throne. You know what? Ancestral hall. 50% increased production towards settlers. New cities receive a free builder and award to government, uh, governor title. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Now, our scout, keep just keep scouting. Just keep scouting. Just keep scouting. Um, sorry for that. <laughs> uh, let's move our archer up this way to get rid of this encampment because that's the closest one, I guess. Uh, you're just healing up, which is grand. This archer is going to move up over here so it can defend our trade route if needed. And we're going to send the trade route, of course, to our capital. Um, yeah. I do want to meet some other uh, Sis right now. I don't want to be isolated for too long. And our scout's probably gonna die. Let's run back. You, move over. That is a decent position to shoot from. So you move over here. You, you know what, keep healing. We don't really need you right now. And we grew to the copper mine, which is pretty good. We, If we now get a builder, we could start um, getting the silk and the copper and probably set up a mine somewhere. 
And the good thing is that this, these are also hills. So CO on this here would have the extra one. This, this is the one tile we couldn't see before where I was talking about, you know what, it sort of depends on what is over there. Well, it's hills and it does seem to have a small river. So that is also very nice. Just uh, for defense, defensive purposes. Let's just run back into the forest to start healing up for scout. Uh, you guys are definitely gonna shoot. Try to kill that guy. Our archer's gonna move up. And uh, hopefully you will position to shoot too. And that also sort of defends our trading route over here. So that is very good. Indeed. Uh, seal, you know what? Build a builder. Because I actually want you to get bigger. Get some really good tiles to work on. And you're growing pretty fast. So uh, that would be good. So you're start, you start healing. We have our warrior who can start moving up. We have this guy who can just start shooting these guys. And this guy can charge to beat these guys. And that works out brilliantly, actually. Amazingly. Very good. There is nothing but a plank between a sailor and eternity. Okay, th there has been an update to Civ uh, recently, like a few days ago. Um, right after my last recording session where I recorded the first episode of the series. And after this, it seems that this happens... The two screens open up at the same time. That wasn't that wasn't the case at first. Uh, but yeah, we got the shipbuilding. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. <laughs> and we got drama and poetry. Uh, so we can get now our theater squares up, which is pretty nice. Culture is a pretty nice boost. Also, if you're going for a science victory, because you have some very good uh, cards in there, some very good policies that you can use to get a lot of science from. Um... You know what? Let's go for astrology just to have it. Um, I don't want to go for for a religion because it's probably not worth it. We might want to check if there are some other religions. Recorded history. That's a very good card. That was some of the cards that I was talking about. So let's do that one. Um, let's go for religions. Where's religions? Religions. Do we have some religions? Not that we know of. Uh, okay, well, we have Hong Kong, so let's just give Hong Kong another guy, another envoy. I do want them to be our friends. They are the only city-state that we can see right now, but still. You're gonna move up, hopefully capture an encampment. Uh, and you, you're actually gonna sit here and just sort of defend this sort of nuke over here. Um, and keep our trading routes safe. And we will re reset I don't believe in astrology. Too. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. <laughs> so, astrology completed. Let's go for... Ah, uh, maybe our commercial hubs. That would be nice to get a lot of money early on. Uh, we could go for ironworking, although... I'm not going to build a, build the Jebel Barkal and... Swordsman, you know what? We need iron for now. We don't have any iron right now, so... It's, uh, it's not really needed. Um, masonry, maybe we should start with some early city walls, although we don't really have a need for walls right now, so go for the commercial hub, get that option to actually get the money if we wanted to. Kill that guy, get rid of the encampment, and boom, some extra error score and some extra money, which is very, very nice. So, another trade route, we can't get another trade route, but another builder maybe. We can't buy one, okay, that, that's... That's one thing. The other thing is that we don't really have... Well, we could make farms out of these tiles. Um, there is a builder coming over here, but he is supposed to be built for this city. Ah, okay, we will check it out. You know what? You just fortify up. Like I said, just defend that little nuke. And let's see what happens. We got our builder, so... Let's start with adding the silk, because we need some amenities. And we don't have any luxury... Oh, we do have silk. Okay, we do have some silk. Okay. Uh, well, well, then we can start selling it once we meet a other guy for another amenity, hopefully. Uh, so, sail. Okay, this would be a very good placement. It's defendable because of the river uh, and the hills, of course. It has all hills around it. And it has an iron and a copper on the sides of it. That would be an amazing one to have. This would also be a very good one, but since these are not hills... Uh, well, they are hills, actually. Well, in that case, it doesn't really matter where we put it. The only difference is, this is free. 
and this cost us 35 bucks. So, well, let's go for this one. I was talking about the river, it is a pretty good river. Um, and that means that we have these openings for, you know, some other some other districts to place there, I guess. You're gonna move over. You're gonna move to seal to start. Well, you know what? You're gonna move over there. And you are gonna move over here. And you are gonna be our sort of a second scout for now, for a little while. Once our scout is healed up, he can scout Money. further on. But if it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable in comfort. <laughs> Money. Okay, so what should we research next? Masonry. I want to go for masonry. Um, I'd like to have at least one set of walls on my cities to just, you know, be able to shoot something when it comes to us. And uh, you know what? Having an army in there to defend it also helps, of course, but walls are just so convenient. Uh, an encampment, a commercial hub, a theater square, a commercial hub. Meh. We don't want to place it next to the seal one, so we don't want to place it over here, or over here, or over here. Um, it's probably best to place it somewhere over... Well, we don't really have a good place for a harbor. This, this would be a, a good place for a harbor. Uh, but we want to we don't want to place the commercial hub over here. So that adjacency bonus is out of the question um, We could also just go for You know what another settler wouldn't be bad try to settle Japan We have shipbuilding now, so that's probably what we're gonna do settle over here um, For Japan and get the iron the rice and the silk that's over there and get the fishes around and Just have another another settlement that would be nice uh, you are going to be promoted. Uh, 20 growth in your city. Ending here, provide plus 2 food. Um, let's do that one. For now. Because there's a bigger chance that we're going to train our settlers over here for now. Um, you. You're going to move over. Over here. And go into that little fog over here. Set, let's see what's over here. And yeah, we didn't meet any other civs right now, but if there's only four other civs on the map because of some fighting early on, that could mean that, you know, it could take a while for us to um, to meet another civ. And the thing is that that is a good thing, but also a bad thing, because it's a good thing because it gives us time to develop and make our forces a little bit stronger, so we're actually ready to meet another civ. The other thing is that, you know, it's, it's a little bit more boring. Uh, in the sense that we don't have people to um, to anger or to have fun with or whatever. So this is going to be at least the end of this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. So if you liked the video, then please leave a like and or a comment. And keep liking the videos for the series to help, uh, to help and to help the channel grow, of course. So if you haven't, please consider subscribing. Also, don't, don't miss out on a thing. And make sure that to help the channel grow. And as always, I've been Ibone, you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.